Poop, poop, poop. Beginner's Guide, part five. <laughs> Hi guys, it's that Tarantula guy here again today, and I am sorry. <laughs> um, I have managed to record a video. Here we are. Um, so this is going to be Beginners by Part 5, uh, which was supposed to be out on Friday, but I lost the footage, so I've re-recorded it, and here you go. Um, firstly, I got a new microphone, so hopefully... All those audio problems that we've been having, they should all be gone. So make sure you leave a like for that. Um, so yeah, as you saw in the intro, we have poop, poop. We have poop. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is show how to spot clean, how to water and the general everyday care of keeping tarantulas. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay guys, so as usual, the main things that I have are a catch cup and tongs. I cannot stress it enough guys. Two things everybody in this hobby should have is a catch cup and tongs. I've also got my tester stick, which is a chopstick, then a whole bunch of sellotape, and then a one inch soft bristle artist's brush or paint, but just a paintbrush out of a craft store. So, as you can see, it gives me loads of reach. To get down inside the tank without getting my fingers in there or I can use the other side as a poker to kind of get spiders moving so catch cup and tongs a tester stick uh, it's better to have a tester stick over tongs unless you've got bamboo tongs or because if your spider strikes at this because it's metal they can damage their fangs. So whenever you're trying to move a tea or anything, use something plastic or something wooden or something soft. So as if they strike at it, they're not gonna break the fangs. I also have my spray bottle filled with water. And I also have my BFR Deep Clean which is disinfectant specifically for vivaria and equipment. So really good stuff. I use this to clean all of my enclosures out. Um, I think they may sell this at Pets at Home. I bought this out of my local pet shop because so they sell it in there. Um, but I think they may actually sell this at Pets at Home too. So don't quote me, but go have a look. Okay. Okay, let's get down to business. So in here, we have, this is my Cirrhopagopus lividum. Beautiful blue spider. Very, very flighty. Very, very defensive. And to be fair, she scares the bejesus out of me. Um, so what we're gonna do is, seeing as she is, in here, in her hide, but she has two entrances. She has one here, but she can skip out the back here. So what we're going to do to try and minimize her escaping is use the catch cup. Just put that there. So if she does come out that way. Now I'm going to use the lid from my catch cup and block her exit that way. All right, now, We've got a little bit of mess up the back here, as you can see, and we've got some poop on the front here. So what I'm going to do is 
use some tissue paper. I've got a big wad of tissue paper here. I'm going to spray some of the beef art onto the tissue. I don't want to spray it directly into the enclosure because I don't want to risk any chemicals or anything getting on her or on any of the bark or anything like that. So I'm going to reduce that by spraying it onto my cloth, onto my tissue paper like so. And then all you do is just wipe it away, the dirt that you want to get rid of. And I'll just go all the way around the outside with this. Make sure I find all of the poop that she's left on the side for me. Just like so. Okay, we throw that away, then we get the water bottle and just spritz down where we've wiped all around the edges. Get some clean tissue paper. And then wipe away any excess left. Now you don't have to use like the cup like I do. I just prefer to because I don't like to spook my teas. I try and keep them as alone as they can be, so they're non-disturbed. But, I mean, with something like Payden, my Afana Pelma Samani, she is puppy dog tame. I wouldn't worry, I would just go straight in there and do it. Okay, so now we'll take those away. And now, we'll just take out any food carcass that she has left in there. We've got a bit here. There you go. That's that's what's left of a dubia. So we'll sling that out. And another one there. Don't worry, I can edit this a bit out. Okay, I think that is everything. So, that is lightning done. There you go, she is all clean. Now, she's a moist species animal. She's a moist, moist species spider. So I'm going to give everywhere a spray with some water. Just because this species prefers it damp. So I'll give everything a little spritz. And that is that. That is lightning clean. Next, in here, we have my Haplopelma species Von Worthy. And as you can see, there's all, all the poop up the front. And she is in here. 
a burrow goes all the way through. It comes out the front here. So what I'm going to do, put the cup over here and try and coax her to come out. Walk down there. Walk. Okay, guys. So after that mad little runabout, there she is. Really, really pretty tea, but um, man, she is quick. So yeah, let's get on with the clean. Now, as you can see, the water dish is empty and her substrate is dry. Now again, they like it a bit more damp. So we're going to clean off all of this at the front. And then we're going to spray everything make it nice and damp for her and the water dish and then you're just going to fill the dish back up and then give everything a nice good spray. Just like so. Okay guys, so just, just to get some information to walk over to you. Um, few things that I want to talk about is frequency for instance now I see a lot on the forums of like just simple questions that a lot of the beginners ask about the things they see in the tank like the poop on the side I've personally been asked by people what is this white stuff on the side of the tank? Is it mold? Is it mites? Is it blah? I don't know. Whatever they think it is, but they don't know. So they ask. Now, spiders, they poop. Like every other living animal on this, pre on, on this earth, spiders poop. And every time you feed them, they leave bits of animals that they don't eat. So like if you're feeding them dubia roaches, they normally will leave the armor plating of the dubia because they can't eat it. If it's crickets, normally they will drain all of the inside out of the cricket and you'll just get this manky, mushy ball of stuff, as you saw me pick out from Lightning's Enclosure. Um, that's when they have eaten everything that they want from the inside, because if you don't know, when a spider grabs their prey and they put their fangs in, they inject a venom which liquidizes the insides of the animal and then they will drink it like a soup. And then obviously when it's empty, it's empty, they, they won't eat it. So they wrap it all up in bits of webbing and just throw it away. And quite often you will find little balls of black stuff after you fed your teas. That is the, the bolus of the, the animal that you fed. 
Um, I think with other animals, they call them different things. So just, with teeth, I've always known them to be called a bolus. So that's the waste. It's not their feces. So the spot check goes out. It, and what I would do is every time I feed, this is how I do it at home with all of my collection. I'll feed, then a couple of days later, I'll go around and check for parts that have been left because bonuses and dead and dead prey items in the enclosures is a bad idea. They sprout mold wicked fast, especially for the human species. Like, like, like Charlotte, my therapeutic Sturmy, um, like Nightmare, my Sue Pagapus, uh, not the little bit, my Abostia. Um, yeah, they, they live in moist conditions, humid conditions. And when you put heat, moisture, and organics, organic material together, going to have mold. So I check them every one or two days after I feed and double check and make sure that I take one of the bonuses out. Um, watering, I personally just do it by eye. I will normally just check all of my teas because I check my teas on a daily basis. Every day I check my teas and when they run out of water I just fill up my water bottle and I just pour it back it back up but on average once a week once a week just top up the water um, as for spray bottles the next thing I want to talk about is don't just try and wait for the water like it's like don't go in your kitchen and ask your mum like oh can I keep that bottle when you're done using it nah don't, don't use things like this because even if you clean it, the chemicals that were inside, this plastic is porous, it will seep into the plastic and you'll never be able to get it out. No matter how many times you wash it. So what I would say is go to a pet shop and get a spray bottle, an empty spray bottle. They're inexpensive. I think this one cost me a quid and I've had it for ages. Um, you know there's not going to be any chemicals in the plastic or anything. And don't put any chemicals in here. Just put water in here. Um, I know there's the argument of what's better, tap water or distilled water. I use tap water, to be fair. Like, I hold my hands up, some people don't, don't like using tap water, they would rather use uh, distilled water, but I use, I use tap water straight from the tap uh, and it's fine. Um, so yeah, make sure you get yourself a spray bottle from a pet shop. So now with one tea left to clean out, let's get on and clean her out. Okay guys. So this is the last tea that I have left to clean. As you can see, spotted all the way along here. This is poop, 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 all the way. And after examining it with my torch last night, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Just in there. Literally like this, that white mark there, that is mold. Nasty mold, which we do not want in a burrowing species. Now in here, I do have a new, new species that I've picked up. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm not gonna say a damn word. I'm just going to get it out and I'm going to catch it in this little tub and then show her to you and you can 
comment down below what species you think it is. So let's crack on and have a look at this beautiful spider. There you go. She is epically beautiful. What a tarantula. Now, like I say, I'm not going to tell you what she is. But she's a burrower. Let me know in the comments if you know what species this is. Right, so all this substrate, because I know there's mold in there, we're going to chuck it all out. All right. All right, now we just put this back in exactly the same way as I showed you in the how to house a terrestrial tarantula. Exactly the same. So let's jump cut to when it's finished. Okay, guys. So I've finished redoing the burrow. As you can see, looks much like it did last time. Uh, this time the burrow goes down here and underneath this log. In there, which is from her old burrow and it's still got all of her old webbing on it. And it goes all the way back under here, just like the last burrow. But this time I left a window so we can see inside. So all it's left to do is pour some water in there, then I'm gonna... and then just give her a spritz. I'm using bits of the inside. And then we put her back. Off she goes, back into her home. There you go, straight down inside, get that lid on. And yep, we can certainly see in there. Just there. Okay, guys. So, this is what happened in the last video. Beast, who we all know and love for being an absolute beast, got an upgrade. So now she has a nice dugout hide in here that she can use. She has a nice new clean glass water bowl. She's still got her plastic plants. Uh, some lovely bark shit all over the place. And she is pretty happy. As you can see, she's starting to kick off all those hairs, which I'm hoping means she is going to molt soon. So we are going to have an even bigger beast.
Okay guys, so I think I've rambled enough. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Let me know if you've been watching the series from the start or any part. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you've been watching the series. Let me know if you have used any of the ideas that I've put out on the videos. Um, also, just let me know what tees you've got. I love reading the comments and knowing what, what my viewers have and what they'd like to get and ideas that they've taken away. So make sure you leave comments down below. Um, there will be another video out Friday. Um, I'm going to upload it earlier and just keep it as unlisted so as then I can just do it on Friday. So I don't hopefully have any stress like I did Friday just gone. Um, so yeah, once again, sorry about the mess up guys. I'm sorry I didn't get a video out, but here it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, please forgive me. Um, so yeah, uh, and hopefully for all you guys that have noticed the audio been crap lately, hopefully I'll sort that out now. So hopefully that, that audio is just Mwah. So yeah, all right, that's enough of me. So make sure you leave me a like, comment down below, uh, subscribe and wait for Friday's video. Uh, it is a good one. It is good. Um, lots of stuff has happened. Lots of stuff has happened. Um, so yeah, make sure you stick around for Friday and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.